The name is Mr. T. First name is Mr. Middle name is that period. Last name is T. Listen and listen good. I'm talking to you. When a new kid moves in on your block, what's your attitude? Do you figure? What do we need him for? Well, I pity the fool that makes that mistake. The friends you already got might not be all the friends you ever need. And when you keep new people out, just because they're new to you, you're only cheating yourself. So don't you ever write nobody off just because he's the new kid on the block. You never know what you might be missing. He missing, he missing. DJ 
computer screen I don't understand why bigger is better I don't understand, yeah, what is wrong Yeah, I don't understand why I had to impress you I don't understand that point of view No, I don't even see it I think it's better this way No, I don't even see it And people seem to stay People are so wonderful Don't love you more cause you are no role Yeah, people see it wrong but it's beautiful I never wanna see it come and go Yeah, I hate it when I'm lazy If I'm crazy, keep me crazy If I'm slow then you can pace me If I'm slow then call me lazy yeah, there's a party tonight You think it's average, but I think that's alright Yeah, there's a party tonight You're all invited, but we'll light on supplies The are so small, but the night is alive People's got smiles left by the grass side A vest too cool, without a pool You don't think so? Well, you are the fool, the fool Too cool for school If you wanna ask for money, don't have a clue No need for big bucks when the parties don't suck You don't believe me? Well, just come to one Yeah, I'm blowing paychecks on the fast food. Yeah, I'm blowing paychecks.
paychecks on the fast food. Yeah, I'm blowing paychecks on the fast
Cause we are the one Your mama warned you about And we're worse than ever before You'll hear us scream and shout We're the ones they're talking about With that audience? That's like That's priceless. priceless. You can't even... Oh, 
from Houston, Texas. Piper has gained a large internet cult following with a style characterized by his deep voice, relaxed flow, and an unconventional approach to beat making. Piper, thanks for joining me today. How are you doing? Appreciate that, man. Thank you for having me on the, on the interview with Piper the Rapper in the house. All right, so what start, what like inspired you to start rapping? Really, when I was younger, um, I've always been involved in music ever since a really, really small age. Uh, started playing the piano at five, started playing the organ for my dad's church at eight, um, uh, but really didn't actually start really playing fully until the age of 13, but uh, that's when I started picking it up, so music was always a part of my life. Um, started out in r and and uh, just because a lot of people said I had a good voice, I sang in the choir in church, sung solo songs in church, and uh, wanted to do something in the music industry. Um, I, I at first chose the singing route, and then eventually um, kind of crossed over to rap. Uh, and it really panned out for me, like started really just pan out for me in the uh, early 2000s. So does that like, R&B gospel background still influence your music today? Or like, yeah, it does. Music? It does in a major way. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, I've kind of gone through a, through a growing process in the, in the rap game. Um, you know, transitioning from R&B to rap, I kind of was trying to be more of a rapper than a singer so as a result a lot of my hooks and things like that which is pure rapping not very much singing in a lot of the hooks um and you can kind of see that in, in a lot of my earlier products hustling thick um southwest hooligan those type of albums uh you'll see that and then as i kind of uh, ventured deeper into my career I kind of started to go back to my roots of R&B. A flashback to when we first met. I knew right then that we'd be friends for life. But you've surprised me, you've blown my mind You've exceeded my expectations I must admit that I 
style brisket and I'm using uh, some pecan pellets today and also a little bit of cherry to give me some different flavors in the smoke but what I'm going to show you now is, is my injection process first thing I do I use what we call a killer hogs AP rub this is kind of something new that I started using this is the first layer of flavor for the brisket kind of just starts things off uh, it's got some salt in it, some pepper in it, some garlic powder, some onion powder, a few other little herbs, secret spices, some seasonings, some seasonings, some seasonings. Next, I'm coming back with my brisket rub. And this is a new formulation that I've been working on. I really like the way it looks on brisket. It really brings out that kind of Texas flavor that everybody loves for brisket. And it's not as salty because I have that pre-rub on it. Uh, you can find this recipe on my website. It's uh, pretty much my standard brisket injection.
I'm out here at the grill, and what I'm cooking on today is this Yoder YS480. It's a pellet grill, and I really love the way this little thing smokes, and I'm really anxious to see what it does to a brisket. That's one thing I love about this Yoder, man. You just see this thin blue smoke that you see people always talk about that you want for barbecue. That's exactly what you get out of this Yoder. It doesn't, um, you don't have to worry about it over smoking. It's pretty much set it and forget it, but we're gonna see what it'll do to a brisket today. I don't tip my briskets, I cook the color, but if I did take it, I guarantee you it's right at 165 right now. I've done it enough to know. So what I did, I always bring them in and let the steam off for a little while because I wanted to stop cooking. And all I do is come right in, right underneath where I started my cut, and go right down through that layer of fat. So I make cuts about an inch, inch and a half wide, and we'll come back and cube those. Now, you can see how I trim that fat and I kind of got bark on these ends, but when you get up under the area where the flat was, there's still some fat, so I'll have to go back and trim some of that off of them. But what I like to do is toss them in a little of the jus, and then uh, they go right back in a pan, and I'll check tenderness. Depending on how tender they are, they might not need any more heat. I can tell this is pretty tender, so they're not gonna need any more additional trying to cook. They just need to set the jus and the sauce on them. Now I've just got some of the au jus. I just re-seasoned the, the, the burning in slightly on the top, and then I just take some of those drippings. I just put just a touch of barbecue sauce in there with it. brisket cutting knife. I usually use one of the Mundi uh, Mad Cow Cutlery. It's a, I think it's a 12 inch scalloped edge roast carving knife and it slices right through a brisket. So my slices aren't gonna look as best they could. I just got one of my old kitchen knives here. This is pretty much the width that we cut them. Uh, you can see I've got the smoke green. I've got the bark all the way around the edges and this is right when I'm getting into the money slices. And that's my brisket right there. And that's pretty much all it is to the brisket. Now right there melts in your mouth. There's just a little bit of fat at the bottom. That's it. Brisket. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Yes, McKillop, you hang on my every word, and, and you never talk back. You never have, except once, and, and after tonight you won't get the chance. Huh? Speak up, Reverend, why don't you? No, of course, the cat's got your tongue, huh? Yes, tonight is your last chance, Reverend. Tonight is the consummation, finish, the end, act three curtain on a great play about death and redemption, about good and evil. And I won't shrink from your eyes, McKillops. Your eyes can't kill, but I can kill. I have the mind and the will and the hands. I've killed one man, that you know. And tonight, tonight I'm going to kill again.
if it's in my mind But there's something in me that isn't mine And it's been inside me, above me, by me, around me All of the time No sense trying to compromise That this thing inside me feels twice my size Cunning demon working to paralyze me And take away both my eyes There is hope. No, Lucy. The Lord is his hope. Oh, yes. The Lord struck him down with paralysis, and in time the Lord will surely free him from it. So confusing and hard to tell Between good and evil, they're both for sale Swapping one another, a sister, brother A multi-part partridge tail I doubt if you, with your good book and, and your years of tending the good sheep in a rich green pastures here, could ever understand one-tenth of what a man like me feels. Doesn't matter. I don't need your understanding. I don't. Good night, Reverend, and, and sleep well. Sleep well. Sleep well. Sleep well. But listen up now, this is serious. When you're tempted to do something wrong, even if the reasons are good, think twice, because you never know how things will turn out. You might be getting yourself and everybody else into a whole lot of trouble. Do what's right, and you can't go wrong. Take it from me. Mr. T. The T. The T. The T. The T. The T. The T.